India is moving towards transformation from a regional power to a global power. The contribution of DRDO in making a strong defense system for the nation can be gauged by the total production value of DRDO products inducted or under induction are more than rupees 2 lakh crores. While inaugurating Aero India show, Honorable Prime Minister gave a clarion call for Make in India and export of defense products to friendly nations. The new mantra of Make in India has crafted a bigger role for DRDO for creating a self-reliant defense system. Def Expo is significant in many ways as it acts as a catalyst for the Make in India program and will give an opportunity to India to attract global market investors in defense sector, fostering future collaborations, fruitful ventures and technology transfer at international level. We hope that uh, during the DEF Expo, there will be a greater opportunity to share our experience and knowledge with relevant organizations and broaden our working base with many more partners as we strive to meet the nation's requirement in cutting-edge defense systems and products. DRDO owed its accomplishments to all those visionaries who once laid the foundation. One name which has marked its presence felt in the heart of every Indian is Dr. APJ Abdul Kalam, also known as the Missile Man of India or People's President. Remembering his valuable contribution, DRDO organized a tributary function in which Prime Minister unveiled the bust of former President Dr. APJ Abdul Kalam on his birth anniversary, 15th October at DRDO headquarters, New Delhi. India's first lightweight multi-role supersonic combat aircraft Tejas, a fourth generation plus fighter aircraft touched the foreign soil at Sakhir Air Base in Bahrain International Air Show. DRDO also showcased other indigenously developed defense systems, airborne platforms, associated sensors and communication systems. Indian Air Force is planning to place order for another 100 combat aircrafts in addition to the present order of 20 combat aircrafts. Honorable Raksha Mantri declared the same in the recent past. DRDO's Autonomous Society ADA has spearheaded as nodal agency for the development of LCA Tejas and the naval versions is under trial. A new generation twin engine based fighter aircraft is in design stage. Akash, the medium range air defense system with multi target, multi directional capability is another remarkable achievement of DRDO. The induction of Akash in Air Force is another brick in Make in India program. Honorable Raksha Mantri, Sri Manohar Parikar dedicated indigenous surface-to-air Akash missile system to the nation at IAF Station Gwalia in July 2015. Akash is successfully demonstrated in the recently held Iron Fist 2016 at Pokhara. After successful induction of Akash in Army and Indian Air Force, DRDO is heading towards Akash MK2 with extended range. Indigenously designed and developed airborne early warning and control system is undergoing comprehensive flight trials and is in the final stage of operational clearance. During Aero India last year, Honorable Prime Minister, expressed deep interest in AWNC aircraft and appreciated the efforts of Team DRDO in realizing such a complex system that only four other countries in the world have the capability. AWNC also participated in the recently concluded Iron Fist 2016. DRDO has started the work on the next version of Advanced Airborne Warning and Control Systems, AWOCS, based on Airbus A330 and multi-mission maritime aircraft for Coast Guards based on Airbus C295 platform. Honorable Raksha Mantri, 
Shri Manohar Parikar handed over the Mareech Advanced Torpedo Defense System developed by DRDO to the Indian Navy in Vishakhapatnam. Mareech is an indigenous system for torpedo detection and countermeasures. The state-of-the-art torpedo system Varunastra has completed its extensive trials and ready for induction. DRDO's technological strength in the highly security sensitive and critical area is exemplified by the development, production and acceptance of indigenous weapon location radar, SWATI. The state-of-the-art beyond visual range air-to-air -air missile, Astra, capable of engaging targets decisively, was integrated with Sukhoi-30 combat aircraft, designed to arm India's own Tejas aircrafts. Astra has undergone series of successful flight trial and is likely to be inducted soon. Similarly, supersonic cruise missile BrahMos was also successfully test-fired from the Navy's newest stealth destroyer, INS Kochi. DRDO is also making numerous strategic systems like long-range missiles, underwater system, and air ballistic missile defense system for creating a strategic deterrence. Helena, an anti-tank guided missile that can be fired in both direct and top attack mode was integrated on advanced light helicopter ALH. The missile is undergoing field trials. A 16-ton capacity heavy drop system consisting of a platform and parachutes to drop military stores from IL-76 has been demonstrated. In a significant achievement, DRDO has designed and developed an advanced parachute deployment system for Moon Mission Crew Capsule Recovery System. In the direction of establishing a credible, integrated electronic warfare systems, DRDO achieved a major breakthrough by development of Him Shakti. Aslesha, a versatile 3D low-level lightweight surveillance radar, is another star in the constellation of indigenous radars designed to serve in diverse terrains like plains, deserts, mountains and high altitude regions. The coastal surveillance radar is the primary sensor having X and S band operation for integrated coastal surveillance system. In the field of land systems, DRDO has been continuously innovating and working towards strengthening our army. In this endeavor, it has recently completed the technical trial of Pinaka MK2 with a longer range of 60 kilometers. Also, a 155mm by 52 caliber advanced towed artillery gun system is an advanced stage of development for Indian Army with higher range and mobility. To overcome the crisis of ammunitions for 155mm Bofors, howitzer guns with Indian Army, BMCS, bimodular charge system has been successfully demonstrated by DRDO and is under production with Ordnance Factory. DRDO has also developed a new class of tank ammunition penetration come blast and thermobaric ammunition specially designed for Arjun tank to further boost its firepower and thereby making it more lethal. The advanced version of Arjun main battle tank as Mark II is also undergoing trials with missile firing capability. Wheeled armored platform an infantry combat vehicle developed by DRDO is a multi-wheeled armored amphibian vehicle with state-of-the-art tactical and technical features. In order to facilitate cross-country mobility of the combat vehicles, DRDO has developed a mechanically launched single-span 46M MLC 70 modular bridge which can support vehicles up to load class MLC 70. A mountain footbridge for civil applications developed by DRDO was recently handed over for public use in flood-affected Uttarakhand. Another significant achievement of DRDO is the development of Mini UGV, which is articulated tracked robot aimed to carry out surveillance in urban and off-road scenarios. 
the Rustam 2 UAV is also advancing towards maiden flight trial. Prime Minister Sri Narendra Modi inaugurated Extreme High Altitude Test Laboratory at Kyrgyzstan, developed by DRDO as part of the Kyrgyz Indian Mountain Biomedical Research Center. Honorable Raksha Mantri dedicated a state-of-the-art hydrodynamic test facility, sea-keeping and maneuvering basin to the nation. He also inaugurated Orange, an outdoor radar cross-section test management facility to revive the traditional medicinal practices, DRDO has joined hands with Patanjali Ayurveda for the marketing of Seabak Thorn, a local herb found in Leh and Ladakh having high oxidants, vitamins and minerals. The state-of-the-art environment-friendly universal pilot plant was inaugurated by Honorable Raksha Mantri, Sri Manohar Parikar in Pune. Achieving yet another big milestone, DRDO established world's highest terrestrial center at 17,600 feet above sea level at Changla near Pangong Lake in Ladakh. The center was inaugurated by Dr. S. Christopher, Secretary, Department of Defense R&D and DG DRDO. As part of Green Initiative, DRDO developed biodiesel-powered FIC of Indian Navy marked its presence in recently concluded International Fleet Review at Vizag. Under the Swachh Bharat mission, DRDO has come up with an innovative technology called Biodigester to provide eco-friendly toilets. It was also adopted by Indian Railways and many states and UTs. In skill development program, DRDO has taken initiatives to impart training in various areas and villages in hilly region. DRDO is spearheading the way and taking India's defense strength to new heights by fostering multi-level strategic deterrence capability. DRDO will be the force multiplier in enabling the successful realization of Make in India, which has provided a boost to DRDO's pursuit of self-reliance and successful indigenous development and production of strategic systems and platforms. DRDO is all set to play a vital and bigger role in redefining and creating a complete indigenous defense system for the country. Future is in the making. DRDO.